Welcome back to our series on working on our own little simple farming game. And today I just want to go through and kind of uh, redo some of the code and kind of get stuff a little bit more organized just to kind of prepare for what's next. This is something that you have to do with game dev sometimes, especially if you're going to uh, make things more complicated. Sometimes you gotta just stop and kind of organize stuff a little bit. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And uh, so we have our goals. Let's just take our goals out right now. And uh, so far in our game, we can plant some patches here and we can water them. And the ones that are watered will eventually grow carrots and the ones that aren't watered won't grow. And after they grow carrots, you can go through and harvest them and then you get seeds and carrots. So very simple so far, but there are a few things that I wanna change around here. So let's just kind of go through this code and make sure things are named right and uh, we're doing this in the most efficient way. This is our main game loop. We have init and we're doing init stuff for our player, our crops and our inventory. And same thing for update our player crops and inventory drawing our crops player in our inventory after we clear our screen and draw our map. Okay, that all seems fine. Let's go to our player. So at the beginning, our player is initialized with just an X and a Y and then movement code, that all looks good. Then we plant seeds. We're grabbing some local variables here so that we can use the player's position to figure out what tile we're over. If we hit X, then we plant seeds on the blank tiles. And this is one thing is there's a variable called seed. And then there's also a table called seeds, which is a little bit confusing. And so I think I want to rename that table for sure, because this table isn't really seeds. Like we have seed packets in our inventory. What we're actually talking about are these patches where yes, there are seeds in the ground, but it's kind of a strange thing to call that now. So let's start with that. Let, let's go over to nature's way. We have our crop timer for 300. We have our seeds. I don't even know if we're using our crop timer actually. We can probably take that out, I bet. Let's just, seems like that's gonna be fine. Yeah, we're not even using our crop timer, so let's take that out. And instead of calling this seeds, let's call this, um, let's just call this patches maybe. Yeah, let's call these patches. So P for all in all patches, if P watered, P tig, P tig, basically switching all of our S's out for P's. Okay, we'll also need to do that over here. So this is patches, making sure we didn't miss anything up here. Yep, call this PX and PY, save the plant patches, on blank tiles. Okay, just switching out the P's, the S's for P's. Okay, P in all patches. Okay, so this should work the same way, as long as I didn't miss something. Okay, ooh, yeah, something's weird. Okay, yeah, so we have the SX and SY here. That would certainly do that. We go planting carrots all right everything seems to work other thing i want to do is for our inventory we're saying if seed is greater than zero let's just say seeds because that's what i actually want to call it so seeds is going to be like how many seeds we have in our inventory okay seeds all right save run and that seems to work plant a couple crops make sure that those grow and we can harvest those and that we car get carrots and seeds from those yes great okay so we've done a little bit of work here, just redoing some stuff. And I'm also, I'm, I might eventually do the inventory, but I'm gonna clean up um, that inventory table and just keep what we need, what we're actually using right now. Make this nice and simple. I don't think we need D crops right now. We can add that later. Same for update inventory. Let's make sure we label some stuff. And let's do one more thing here. When we harvest, uh, somebody was saying that we should just get a random number of seeds. I, I think that's a good idea. So let's say floor random of like three. Uh, if we want anywhere between zero and three seeds, we'll say floor of random four, because it's never going to reach four. It's gonna be between zero and four. And when we round that down, that's gonna be zero to three. Yeah, sounds good. So now save run. Oops, we're calling this inventory that we don't need to call. I think we're also doing draw crops, which we don't need to call. Yep, say run. Okay, so now when we plant and water those seeds, and we get carrots popping up, we'll get anywhere. Sometimes we get no seeds, sometimes we get two, sometimes we get none, sometimes we get three. Great, so that's kind of randomizing the seeds a little bit, which can add some fanciness to the game here. Cool. So I feel like our game is a little more organized now and we can get to some fancier stuff. What kind of fancier stuff should we get to? I've loved reading your comments on the earlier videos. There's a lot of cool directions we could go with this game. Again, we're trying to make the simplest but most awesome farming game 
ever. So let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll catch you next time.